What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can replace the DC jack in a Dell Inspiron 1564. So here is our laptop that we're going to be replacing the jack of and this is a really easy job to do because the pigtail uh, jack that's in there is a simple job, no soldering needed. So let's get started on this one. So the first thing we should always do is remove the battery. So we're just going to detach the battery here and put that to one side. The next step is to remove the three panel screws which is holding the hard drive, the memory and the uh, wireless network card so we're just going to remove these screws here so we'll remove those and put that to one side the next step is we're going to remove the hard drive just for safekeeping now you don't really have to do this but it's always best to keep the hard drive safe just in case now you can remove the memory if you wish and there is the wireless uh, network card. We will need to remove those cables. So let's start with the actual hard drive. Just going to unscrew this. Now I'm not going to show you the full process of removing every single screw. You just get the general idea. So we'll remove the uh, hard drive. The next thing we're going to do is remove the wireless network cables and you just use a little spudger here to pull these up, you can use your finger if you wish you'll see me going from the spudger to my finger every now and again or you can use those black sticks so we're just going to pull this off there's a little bit of tape holding this cable down so we're just going to pull this back and leave that loose the reason why we need to do that is so when we remove the palm rest it doesn't get in the way next thing we need to do is remove the CD-ROM drive so I'm going to remove one screw here which is holding the CD-ROM drive in pop that out like that and you should see another three screws just underneath the drive bay there make sure you remove these because if you go to remove the palm rest without removing these you're going to break something so just remove these three screws Now that's done, we need to remove the remaining screws on the back of the uh, case here. So what we're going to do is remove all 12 of these screws. There's 12 of them on the back. Just remove everything and put them into a safe place. Now once we've removed those, we're ready to flip the laptop over to the front. Now we can work on removing the bezel. Now this is a real delicate piece of plastic so you've got to be very careful. Now you can use as again spudgers, black sticks or your fingers depending what you feel comfortable with. As you can see here this part here is the common part that gets snapped. It's very small bit of plastic so be very careful around here. Just take it easy as you go. and also you want to be careful of the power button there is a little ribbon underneath here so you don't want to go pulling around there too much or leaving any screwdrivers under there because you will break something so just take it very easy and once you've done that you'll see the little ribbon cable this just needs to be detached now you can use your, your finger now or you can use a spudger whatever you feel comfortable with Once that's pinged off, you just put that to one side. The next step is to remove the keyboard. And there's three screws here that we need to remove. Same screwdriver, just remove these three screws. And lift the keyboard out. There we go. It's pretty straightforward stuff. And once you've pulled this out, there'll be another ribbon cable here that we need to detach from the board. Just lift the little plastic lever back. You can use a spudger here if you wish, or your fingernail. Just pull this back, and that should pop out. Now there is one more ribbon cable here, as you can see, which is for the palm rest. 
and uh, or for the actual mouse part of the palm rest just remove all these screws now now there's six screws on this palm rest that we need to remove once we've done that we can detach the cable and the next thing we can do is now unclip the palm rest now this is probably the most difficult part because it's really snapped in nice and tight so you may want to just start on one corner somewhere until you get a good purchase point where you can get a, a spudger under there or your fingernail and just take it really easy you can see I'm using my top fingers to make sure it doesn't put too much pressure on it you can use a an isesimo tool or something like that if you wish just put a bit of pressure on these little plastic clips and they should pop out don't use too much force here now you can take the palm wrist completely off if you wish and pull out the wireless cable or you can leave it in as I've done here and leave it up like so we just need to release one screw here for the DC jack and once we've done that unclip the DC jack and replace it very simple to do just going to unclip this and pull this out and this is the actual DC jack here as you can see it's got a little we call it a pigtail because of the actual uh, cable on the back there so we're just going to put the new one in now just clip this one in you can use a spudger here just to push the uh, connector in if you wish like so slip that into position and then just screw it down you just need to put that screw back in to keep this in position Now once that's done we're just going to put the palm rest back down. Don't forget to pull our cables back. There's three cables, ribbon cables that need to be attached here. The keyboard, the actual uh, one for the power button, one for the sensi pad which is what we're doing. Once that's clipped into place you'll be ready to clip all that back down and then screw up the palm rest it can be a bit fiddly sometimes so all you need to do now is put everything back just reverse the process put everything back the way you did clip everything back on and you should be good to go so i hope this video helps you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button guys it really does help me out and also, if you enjoy my videos, you want to keep up to date and hit the subscribe button and that can keep you up to date with uh, new videos that I upload. So thanks again, guys, and thanks for your support. Have a great Christmas and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.